Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So every time I usually upload a siege video I get a lot of comments asking uh, any tips on how to improve at the game and just get better at siege. So I thought I'd make a video uh, with 5 tips that I think that may help you improve. Now these tips and tricks are kind of things that you do see quite a lot at high ranks but when you go further down in the ranks not a lot of people know them and utilise on them so I thought I'd share 5 of my favourite different ways and different tricks on how I handle different situations and um, just utilise operators better. So my first tip is actually for Habana and not a lot of people know this but you can actually go through one reinforced wall with only one set of Cairo pellets. Now there is some little bit of jiggling about with this and uh, you have to really perfect it to get used to it and for it to be a good trick but I have kind of found a way where I can get it mostly all the time and it will work perfectly for me. And basically all you have to do is line up your laser on your launcher with the bottom of the reinforcement as you can see the little metal bits you line that up with there and once you shoot it and detonate it you can crouch right through it so this is a great tip um, this is, means you can utilize Habana much better just instead of wasting all your Kairos on one wall you can only use one sneak right through and hopefully get a free kill my next tip is in relation to destroyable cabinets and different things around the map and I'm going to show you a uh, top floor on cafe as an example so bar and is a very good method here if you bring in oryx and you just start ramming into all these different bar stools it opens them up very easily you don't take any damage and now you have amazing lines of sight throughout the whole objective and if you're holding it and it will be very hard if anyone tries to come in for a plant especially in those late round moments you can shoot through them you can see where they are you can throw smoke canisters you can easily stop a plant when you can see you through these entire cabinets and i recommend opening cabinets in all these maps especially on top floor cafe but it can happen on any map and oryx is actually a very good operator to do so because he does not take damage he opens them up very fast and very effectively and it just helps you on defense so much this next trick is for if you struggle to hold sight and they always end up getting the wall, they get past your arcade, they get past your bandit batteries, they get past your mute jammers, they always end up getting that wall and into sight. And this is going to improve your roam game a lot and your overall defense and anchoring a lot. And I'm going to show uh, the new theme park rework as an example for this. And uh, throne room, for example, you've got the two, you've got three walls in throne room actually. You've got bottom yellow, you've got barrel, and then you've got initiation side and the back side where the whole uh, um, dragon is. So there's three different walls that people like to attack on theme park when you're defending armory and throne room. And a lot of people kind of just lock themselves in sight and try and bandit trick it, or just hold off long enough until they get the wall. And um, that can work. It can be effective. But if you have a really good roamer and you are trying to improve your roam game, make these holes above and you can hold the wall so easily. If you've got a bandit player bandit chicken and holding the wall, as well as someone above shooting anything that goes on the wall, shooting any players that come to it, you're going to hold the walls extremely well because then, before they can even go for that wall, they now have to deal with you and that will waste so much time. You can destroy so much utility and you can get some kills and hopefully win the round. This next one's for those people who have to deal with electrified hatches even when Thatcher is banned. And in a lot of cases, hatches are on soft floors, meaning that beside them you can breach and you can make holes in it. Granted there's steel beams there which you can't fall through, but you can get lines of sight and shoot other players. And um, there's a lot of sites like this, kitchen in uh, clubhouse for example. Uh, I show the example of skyscraper even though it's no longer in ranked but I showed it in a terrorist hunt on how you can actually use this trick and this is for thermite. And you can do it with Habana but it's really not as effective. Thermite really does it very well. And all you have to do is just place your exothermic charge beside the hatch so, so it doesn't touch it. I know in the video that hatch isn't electrified but it does work if the hatch is electrified. Just trust me on that one. Um, it's just because it was in a tea hunt and they can't electrify hatches in that. But it does work if the hatch is electrified. So all you have to do is place your exothermic charge beside the hatch, detonate it and it should majority of the time open up the hatch. The final tip I want to talk about in this video is if Thatcher is banned and um, they're defending, they have the walls electrified once again and you just struggle to get past that. And um, a lot of people don't actually utilize the fact that a lot of sites in this game and a lot of walls that bandit players like to play and bandit trick on, 
uh, you can destroy a lot of different parts of the above and below them. And uh, it's been done on plenty of maps, uh, CCTV cache on uh, Clubhouse, you can destroy below that wall. Um, I give the example of Border from a ranked match I played the other day, it can also be done on Outback, it can be done on so many maps. So if you've got a Thatcher ban, that doesn't mean you have to go straight to Cali or Twitch. If you bring an Ash as Ophia, um, maybe anyone with nades, all you have to do is shoot your gadget below the site and it will destroy any existing bandit batteries. Granted, electric claws are a bit harder so you may have to shoot for them and um, you also have to watch out for people shooting back. But if you destroy the floor below it and um, the bandit's trying to bandit trick, there's no way he's going to get a successful bandit trick if you're there. He's going to have to stop bandit tricking or he's going to try and have to shoot you back. Now, this is a great way to uh, counter these things if you don't have a Thatcher. And like I said, Kali isn't the best and uh, yet if you don't want to play Twitch either. So these are great methods if you would like to get these things off the wall, stop people bandit tricking, especially for bandit tricking. Because once they do this, there's no way that they're going to successfully get a bandit trick. So there we have 5 quick tips in Rainbow Six Siege to hopefully help you improve as a player and hopefully make you think more outside the box when you're attacking certain sites. If you did enjoy this uh, video be sure to drop a comment and let me know your thoughts and drop a like if you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already and if you want me to make more videos like this let me know. I shall see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.